Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is a special opportunity for you, as we've been meeting all year long. This is the time that determines your future. This is the time where you actually take a step into leadership and make a decision for your future. So let's set ourselves up for success. Let's sit up so we can receive this important information that's gonna help you probably make the best decision in your educational career right now. All right, folks, let's get started. Let's get right into it. This is a great opportunity for you to understand and learn more about our amazing high school. I know you have prepared questions. I know you have prepared some comments. And I know that you're ready to make the best decision for you. All right, so without further ado, put your hands together for who will be your principal next year at high school. Put your hands together for the one and only Principal Griffin. socio-emotional journey, all right? Which means your grades, your classes, your transcripts, and also your emotions, right? And being in tune with them and being able to do conflict resolution, all right? So families, that's probably more for you than it is for y'all, but in ninth grade, 10th grade, those hands should start kicking up, right? Those academics and socio-emotional journeys. Raise your hand if you are ready to graduate. We love Mr. Runner. All right, all right, all right. Raise your hand if you are on track for graduation. <laughs> right. All right, and I'm gonna get started, right? So that's where we are, right? We are five months from now, we are about to graduate, right? And now we're gonna jump into the presentation, right? We know that you're ready, right? But these last couple of months are gonna be paramount or important for you to be able to be successful at the next step, right? So what are we gonna do today? Go over the agenda, I'm gonna tell you about where we're going, share some feedback for the family survey, right? And then I'm really gonna just talk about some events that we do and some clubs that we have. And then I have some student incredible leaders who are gonna come and you will have 10 minutes to ask them any questions because sometimes the kids have the best answer. You can hear from me all you want to, but to be able to experience the experience is another thing. So I wanted them to come and share with you all that, all right? First off, that's me, Mr. Griffin. I am from Indianapolis, but grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, so that is where I call home, right? For the last couple of years, um, you know, I'm an obnoxious reader with some of, my, some of my favorite singers. Looking at the singers, put the number in the air, who's your favorite on that list? Anybody, Rihanna here? Beyonce, all right, Taylor Swift. All right, the rappers on the list, 
right there. Like, I'm going to pop smoke. I'm not arguing with nobody. A boogie, like, I'm rocking with them. Like, I'm sorry. Um, also, any rap battles, let me know. You'll get beat. All right? Um, and then my top five shows, right? So one thing about me, I like to listen to music. I like to um, watch shows. I like to talk about them um, with my students, right? I started in Atlanta, Georgia. I was a teacher so many years ago. I'm not going to age myself. But that was the first time in my life where I worked with students who did not have a lot of money, right? And I was one of those students. I worked with teenage mothers for the first time who were trying to graduate at the same time and still understanding what it meant to be taking care of someone. I worked with kids who didn't have mom or dad present because they passed away, right? But every single day, those kids had a dream and they showed up. And it was the first time in my life that I knew I wanted to be in education forever. And that is why I'm here right today. After that, I went and did some boring stuff for older people and how to make instruction better so I know what classroom management looks like. But what kept happening in that other school is we kept getting headlines that said that we were failing, right? That we were a failing school, despite the fact that kids were coming every single day, despite the fact that some of them had jobs and they were taking care of bills at home, despite the fact some of them were working hard every day, they would wake up and they would say, chronically failing schools again. And for me, I couldn't stand with that and I couldn't rock with that. And that is why I moved to New York and I helped to found an all-girls school in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn called Bella Charter High School. And the, and the headlines completely reversed because it was in a community that believed that we could do the great work. So instead of those spelling headlines, our headlines looked like this, where we had 100% of our students graduate, not just graduate high school, but get accepted and so if you want to go to college, you have a dream at Harvard, Spelman, Yale, if you're not sure right now because you're young, what are some things that you want to do? You want to travel, you want to experience life, you want to buy a Maserati, like all of that good stuff comes with a degree can help you. But whatever pathway is for you, right, I am committed to making sure that 100% of us are meeting it. And at graduation, I always say, I will not be happy for Joanne, I certainly will, but if, if, if Jator doesn't make it, I would not stop thinking about her. Right, because I would look at that chair that has her name and her picture and she was not there, right? And so it really is 100%. I'm gonna smile graduation, but I'm always like, what about the other child who's come forward? And that's what I would be able to promise to you as your principal, right? So let's talk about some of our school-wide goals and where we're going, because in high school, there are goals and metrics that you have to meet in order to graduate, right? We do them pretty fast, right? So the first one I want to do is like give you a window into where our ninth graders are. So I have some pictures of eighth, ninth graders who are in eighth grade, and they made some quotes in relation to these goals. So for example, one student said, when I was in eighth grade, I had all A's, but I never got homework. Now I'm in chemistry and advanced math, and I have to work way harder than before. Right? One of the big steps from eighth grade to ninth grade is we're not gonna just worry about a report card, it is something called a transcript, right? And you have to have a certain amount of credits in order to graduate. And so our first goal for all ninth graders is that 90% of us are passing all of our classes. We have some seniors right now who would openly share their story on how they're at Saturday school, right? How they are doubling up on classes, and they will share with you how much harder it is versus some of our seniors who get to leave the building early and leave after lunch because they have their credits, right? So the first thing that you need to remember when you go to high school, right, no one's just gonna pass your grade because they like you. You have to earn it, right? And 90% of you will earn it, right, um, in ninth grade, okay? Another quote, right, from Kalia and Sage, right, says, I wanna spend more time studying, doing work is one thing, but now we have this test that affects our grade. So when I was in eighth grade, I wish I would've spent some more time thinking about studying, right? Because one of our school-wide goals is that 70% of you will pass the regents. Does anyone know how many regents you need in order to graduate high school? Three or two, a little bit higher. Four higher. Five, so you need five regents. She said you got to dance for it. She said you got to dance for it. And that's a $25 gift card, right? So go ahead and get that to her. Uh-huh. So y'all better answer these questions. All right, here we go. That's another thing at the high school we love to get. Right? <laughs> right? Okay, now I got y'all attention. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, here we are back.
back, bring it back. All right, so 70%, we're back, we're back, we're back. So 70% are gonna pass those regions, right? Seniors, how many of you have all your regions? One, two, three, four, all of them ready to graduate. Five plus region, right? So think about that, go. When I was in eighth grade, I was, not gonna lie, kind of a mess in terms of behavior. I was involved in unnecessary drama. Now I realize this stuff can actually go on my transcript, which sticks with you forever, right? Anybody been involved in any drama earlier, not even this year, but before in your career, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody. Uh, everybody, right? I've been involved in some drama. <laughs> Anybody ever been in detention for the drama that they've been involved in? Uh, I have. All right, here we go. All right, bring it back. All right. So what I want to say about this is I'm going to talk about at the end. We have a beautiful high school with great things, but we also have something called a restorative justice guide, which I'll talk about at the end, which is in high school, it is about, like, I'm not giving you consequences, right? You are making choices. You can choose to study for your math test and get an A. That's a positive consequence. You can choose to skip your math class and have a conversation with me, and that consequence may not be so great, right? But what you have to do is start changing your brain from Mr. Griffin's gonna give me this to like how, what are the choices that I'm going to make to make sure that I'm not getting a reflection or staying out of the community because you don't need to be doing those things, right? So that's just one thing that you can expect, and there's a ninth grade week-long kind of bridge program where we kind of talk about that so you know all of the rules, all of the regulations up front, and you can behave accordingly. And we haven't had a single physical fight in our building, which is beautiful because I've never worked at a school <laughs> where that has happened, right? And that does not mean that there has not been drama. That does not mean that there has not been friendships that didn't click. But what it does mean is that when you have a problem with someone, you have to come to the table at a mediation and you got to chat, right? And so we've been able to do that. And because we've been able to do that, we've been able to do things like where they get to go out to lunch for during lunch, 11th and 12th grade. We're going to DC on Monday, which is a beautiful trip free of charge on charter buses. Bowling. We're going bowling. I'm about to show y'all some of that stuff we're gonna do. They have to dance. Dance. Because of our behavior, we're able to do great things, right? So remember that, right? Last goal, 100% of scholars who have a plan to graduate when they're high school. Your senior year, second semester, you're gonna have to sit across the table from me and do an exit interview and say, where are you gonna be three months, six months, nine months from now? Right. Senior year, how fast was it? Was it long? You think you got all the time in the world, your senior year hits you, and it, it comes really fast, right? And so everybody will have a plan, whether it's to go off to Harvard or to work in the military, whatever your dream is for you, we're gonna make that happen for you, right? Hey! hey. hey. When I was in eighth grade, I knew I could talk to my mom about the tough things as I talk to her now. Loki, I wish I learned how to take better notes too, though. <laughs> I'm Loki struggling, right? <laughs> so that was Kevin way back in the beginning of the year, right? And where he is now, we're like passing all of our classes, right? But that's because he was honest and kind of open about like, I was kind of a mess, right? I was struggling. I don't know notes, but I want to get there. And I'm also talking to my family, right? So that's the last quote that I want to share with you because I asked them, what is some advice I should tell them? And this is what came up for them, right? So remember those four school-wide goals. You gotta pass your classes. You gotta pass your exams. You got to connect with someone, which we'll talk about the last one, and you are going to have a plan when you graduate, and you'll start that plan in ninth grade, right? All right, so what are some fun things, some clubs and activities that you could be a part of um, after school or leadership activities, all right? So we got sports, any soccer players in here? All right, so we got the Hawks is hot, like we got a soccer team um, there. So we got soccer, anybody do volleyball? All right, anybody do volleyball? All right, we got volleyball. Anybody do cheerleading? Pass the ball, pass the ball. All right, it's right. <laughs> a good one though. All right, cheerleading, we just started that. The uniforms are coming like in two weeks, they are like nice, all right? And then we are in our basketball season. Any basketball players? All right, here we go. I got some basketball players that are going to talk to you, right? Really want you to hear from one of them, one of only one freshman on the team, and what his reflections are. And we also do things like a staff versus student basketball game. So even if you're not on the team and you are a ball player, right, or you play for an intramural, how can we give you those things and still have fun? Like the ball coming? 
baseball, flag football, and, and most and track. And track is right is there. Okay. Student government starting up. Anybody student government president, vice president? Where the president at? Woohoo! All right, salute. Yeah. Here we go. So student government, so if you have ideas, tricks, movies, events, like how do you make things fun? The lunch is really horrible, Mr. Griffin. All that happens in SGA, you have a conversation, and then you sit at the leadership table and you say, the lunch is a mess, we need a store, we need a snack store. We now have a snack store, a bodega that happens during lunch for folks to grab hot fries, honey buns, we need some grapes, but like all that, <laughs> right? So again, student voice, student voice, all right? National Honor Society, any smarties in the house? A, B's, you sitting on the honor roll, right? Oh, all right, all right. Anybody not on the honor roll who wants to be on the honor roll? That was me in eighth grade. I'm telling you I was next. All right. All right, so we got National Honor Society. I won't talk about too much what that is. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right, I won't talk about too much, but the Honor Society, great grades, studying for college applications. If I'm reading over an application and I see NHS, you go on a different pile already, right? So that's NHS. All right, yearbook club, anybody like a Instagram photographer, arts? Like you see an angle that no one else can see? Like yearbook, right? Please get on it, all right? Choir, any singer? No. No. Okay, no? All right, you sing, you sing. We got, we got a talent show coming up, $500 cash prize. All right, here we go. Any dancers in the house? All right, so the hottest Harlem team is Dynasty Dance Team, right? Tonight. Stunning, right? They're actually gonna go tonight to the Bronx um, to perform in front of the mayor, yep. right? Yep. Really, 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 really good team, right? Dynasty Dance Team. Any anime fans like Dragon Ball Z, uh, Naruto, Shippuden, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school Sailor Moon, yeah, 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 yeah. I got anime, I got anime for y'all. K-pop, BTS, like that's butter, that's butter, all right? All right, I got a K-pop club. Any chef, you be up in the kitchen, like, hey, all right? Anybody food actually good? All right, all right, because you will be judged, all right? You will be judged, all right? Culinary competition, all right? You'll be judged, the one thing is, is there any club that you wanted that you didn't see on the list? Drama? Well, we have drama as an elective. The reason that I asked that question, go ahead, hon, real quick. Fashion. All right, so any other club that's not on the list, right, this is how we got track. One student won a track, she got 75 signatures, she found an advisor, and now we're having a track team in the spring, right? So if there are clubs that you see on here, DJing, whatever it is, rap club, I don't, like get signatures from your students, right? Your fellow peers, get an advisor, and then the club becomes, becomes a thing, right? So again, that's the power of student voice at the high school, right? And the last thing I just wanna share with you is we do events really, really well. Like we just do them really, really well. All the way from community service, where over 30 kids went down, went to Harlem and packed 3,000 hygiene kits for the people who can't afford them, like me. Growing up, shampoo was hard to buy for us, right? And I used to go to pantries for food, right? And so our students got up on MLK while a lot of people were asleep, and they came and packed over 3,000, right? We do community service, and we also turn up and get lit, right? So, like I'm telling you, we had the hottest Halloween party in the city until midnight, right? So, yeah, from 17. Yes. Yes, right? You're in high school, right? It took a lot. Your behavior met you one in there, but even two students who are rappers, right, and have videos they were able to perform for the first time, right? Which was like really good, right? All right. So there's that. And then the last thing I want to share with you all, and then I'll bring the students up, is this last quote. When I was in eighth grade, I wish I didn't shut my parents out like I did. I love that I have someone to talk to here every day. And now I'm realizing through counseling, my dad has always been there for me. The one thing that I want to stress to you all is high school is a big next step, right? And whether it's grandma, dad, uncle, sister, I grew up with my grandmother, right? Whoever that person is for you, 
they are equally important with the journey, right? And sometimes when you don't believe in yourself, they're believing in you. And I even have some seniors like, I really don't really care about this right now, but my mother has worked so hard for this moment for me. Right? So that's one thing. I am in constant communication. I will call at dinner time and say, hey, um, mm -hmm. I don't see the math assignment, right? And it's due tomorrow, right? I really, really care about building partnership with your family, right? And because I don't see a lot of families here, I'm gonna stop my presentation here. But that was just a little bit about what I can offer you into the high school. And remember, you have a choice. And one of the best schools in New York is right here in this network, right? So whatever you heard before, I encourage you to come see it, right? And think about what, who do I want to be in high school because who do I want to be when I graduate it, which is really important. So with that, uh, my ambassadors, I will have you come on up and do your panel. So please come on up to the front. I'm going to the chair. So for this portion, if you have questions, I do have some questions, but I want to hear from you. you got 10 minutes. Um, what's it like to be on the basketball team? What's the food like? Are the teachers nice? Uh, all of that. So whatever, is in you, whatever your question has, the students are going to answer. They're going to start by introducing themselves. They're going to say their name, their grade, and just one activity they're a part of. And then we'll take questions. And only one to two people will answer each question. Okay. If we're a little nervous, i got some questions for you. All right. Hi, my name is Yasmina. I'm on the basketball team right now. Hi, my name is Fatima, and I'm part of the basketball team. Great. What grade are you? Oh, 12. Okay. Um, my name is Joanne. I'm in 12th grade, and I'm just like a regular student. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eliana, and I'm in the 12th grade, and I'm a part of the National Honor Society. Hi, my name is Adrian, and I'm a part of the varsity basketball team. What grade? Oh. I'm a junior. Uh, my name is Tata. Oh, uh, ninth grade, and I'm a partner in my team. Okay. Look, we got five minutes for the questions. Anybody question? Go ahead. Can you apply for summer jobs? How do you apply for summer jobs? Anybody has a job? Tell us. Um, you apply from like, for example, for me, I apply with SIP, and even like for two years already, um. Another question. You had a hand, brother, right there? Any other question? In the pink, what you got? What are the things you like most about your school? Um, I think the thing I like most is the relationships I've made. Like throughout the years, I've made more and more friends, and I've gotten to connect with all my teachers. The thing I like the most is if you don't have something and if you want something to start, you'll find a way to start it. And that's like what the best is because most schools don't do that. Mm. So yeah.
Middle school is like quarter grade. We also have quarter grade, but the main grade you want to focus on is your semester grade because that's what's going to be on your transcript. So even right now, when you are going applying to colleges right now, they'll see the grades that you made in algebra one or the grades that you took in Spanish or anything. So you want to make sure you're passing all your classes so that you can get into any college that you want. Don't get on. Don't get on. Right. Turn it on. Um, great. That's big. That's big. Transcripts, right? I, I don't do fights at all. I don't. Black and brown children should not be getting hit by anybody. You do not deserve that. Right? So, just so you know that. Any other questions? Because I think I'm running out of time. All right. I'm so curious where this Ooh. How to do preparedness students of college. Oh, so um, there's this class that we, um, that like mostly every grade has to take, which is called post secondary. And during post secondary, they will basically teach you like about schools, which is also what I was saying about resumes. Like they'll teach you all those life lessons, like how to apply to school, uh, what schools you should look into. Um, They'll tell you, like, start focusing more on your grades, like, what will help you boost your grades up, what clubs and stuff like that you can take. So, yeah. That's PSAT 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 PSAT. PSAT. Um, and we do PSAT prep as well as um, Regents prep and all that stuff. Perfect. Love that. And then we have post secondary classes, like your junior year and senior year, you know, where you actually go through some of that process. Yeah. Someone had a question. Uh, can you explain? Ooh, I love that question. Can you explain what a GPA is? I know you got it. Come on, Okay, a GPA is like, what's the word? It's like cumulative, right? It's like, a, it's an average of all your grades, basically. So if you take, like let's say you got an 80 something and then you got a 90, like it'll take all the grades that you have in every semester in every class, and it's gonna basically average it out. And then on a 4.0, like grading scale. And so whichever, like if you catch on your class, most likely you'll have at least a you know, 3.0. But if you fail it, <laughs> she didn't have to say anything. No, I love it, right? So like, and that's a great question because the grades follow you. So algebra one, you may not really care about college right then and there when you walk in there. Right. But if you get an F, you get zero points for a GPA. You get a C, you get two points. You get a B, you get three points. You get an A, you get four points. And that's the average. And so if you want to go to Spelman, Harvard, Yale, Stony Brook, one of the first things they're going to look at what your GPA is, right? Not to say that if you have a low one, you can't get into these places. It's just that much harder. All right. Another question? And then let's take two more and let's wrap it up. Go ahead, right here in the grid. Would you have handouts? Yeah. yeah. Did you learn the college credits in high school? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you take um, advanced placements classes, like, you're going to take all some credits you have in um, high school. So if you take advanced math and you major in, like, something with math, you're not going to take that grade level of math. So you're going to, like, advance it. Yeah, if you pass the AP test, and then Mr. Swaby, who's the assistant principal of instruction, who you'll see in the hallways, right? Can you just say a little bit about the benefits, even financial, for taking college credits in high school? Absolutely. So for our scholars who are earning college credits in high school, that means they will not have to take those classes as a required course when they get to college. And so they are saving money because when you go to college, you pay for every class you take. And so they are saving money because they already have those required courses on their transcript. They will not have to take them when they go to college. And so AP is one uh, opportunity we provide. But hopefully next year when you all are seniors, we'll be able to provide even more than that for our scholars to earn college credits while they're with us in high school. And one more before I pass you to your card. Right here, uh, TikTok star. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Um, but thank you, ambassadors, for your work. And thank you. Like, are you interested? Yes, I'm a go. Uh, maybe I need to see it, Mr. Griffin. You say a lot of good stuff, but I gotta see it. Actually, maybe it's not for me, right? I just wanna know where you are. All right, so two $25 gift cards, all right? And all you got, two people just gotta tell me, what is one thing that you learned from today's presentation? Okay? <laughs> I like that. She said one thing she learns is like she has to stop playing around, right? Like school is coming first. I'm one semester away from ninth grade, right? So I can play at home and then I can play otherwise. All right, 25. All right, let me go right here. Um, what you like? No, take one. His thing was he has to work Thank you. 